Right now there will be seven boats in the winter takeoff finale here on Mission Bay in San Diego. Six in the front line and the trailer boat will be the T+. Plus. Let's look at the lineup. In lane number one, Chip Hanauer in Bernie Little's Miss Budweiser. The Fred Leland team fields two boats. Mark Evans and the Miss Vons will be in lane number two, while Dave Philwalk and Pico's American Dream in lane number three. In lane four is the Smoke and Joes with Mark Tate back in action after blowing that engine. Scotty Pierce will be on the outside with Miss Cascade West Sportswear. The pace boat will be Bob Fendler's Happy and Renegade, driven by rookie Tom Hindley. And the trailer boat is the T-plus engine treatment, driven by Steve David. So it's a full field. They've got top guns in the field. Here they come for the start, and there they go. Right off the bat, Smokin' Joe's is going to try to take the lead over the field. Remember, Smokin' Joe's as out of lane number four. Look at the battle on the inside. Miss Budweiser trying to come up on the inside, and she does. She takes the lead. Chip Hanauer now as they go down onto the back stretch. Chip Hanauer is leading. Mark Tate looked like he might have gone a little bit on the wide side. Down the back stretch, it's going to be the battle between the two top boats. Miss Budweiser right there, and on her right hip is the Smokin' Joes. Miss Budweiser, Chip Hanauer still in control. He is just barely in the lead by about half a boat length. Now as they go into the turn, Budweiser loses it. He's over. Chip Hanauer in the Miss Budweiser has cartwheeled on the course. The boat apparently has been destroyed. There's pieces laying all over the place. We're waiting for Chip Hanauer to get out of the boat. The rescue boats are already on the course, headed that way. We're waiting to see if Chip gets out of the boat. All eyes are on him right now. The boat upside down in the water again. There he is. Chip Hanauer has gotten out of his own accord. He is strapped in. He apparently got out of those straps. Let's take a look at the replay, Jim. Going into corner three. His left sponsor comes up. He can't bring it back down. It digs into the right sponsor. It's lost in a big spray of water. Looking from the outside camera angle. Same bounce. The left sponsor comes up. He starts to go over, digs in the right sponsor, and the boat comes apart in several pieces. That's the way it is right now. Chip Hanauer apparently getting out of the boat in around 15 to 16 seconds. He got out of his own. boat be back racing? There's Dave Vilwak. Picos is down, and he's trying to get it restarted. It doesn't look good. Meanwhile, the rest of the boats are coming down, and there's the start as they pass Picos on the start line. There you can see Picos trying to get off the course. In the lead, Smokin' Joes. Mark Tate has started it right. Four boats up front, led by Smokin' Joes. The trailer is the T-plus engine treatment. So five of the seven are out there for the winner take all final as we come down the back chute look at the smoke and shows he's smoking and he has got to win this race people might think that it'd be that easy but he has really got to do it for the points if he wins this race we will go into the final event in honolulu a few weeks from now and it'll be this boat here leading by a mere 39 points over the Budweiser. That boat is leading right now in the race as we go inside the cockpit of the T-plus with Steve David. You can see on his face the concentration. Look at him as he goes into the turn, how that wheel fights him. He's really got to power it through the turn. He is out of the trailer position, so he was really 15 seconds off the start line at the start. As we continue with the lead boat, Smokin' Joe's, Mark Tate knows he has a little bit easier run, but on the inside of him, the Miss Vons has been sort of a thorn in the side to several of the competitors all day long, and he's right back on the inside of the Smokin' Joe's. I'll tell you one thing, the T-plus engine treatment, having problems all day, gets in as the trailer because he wins the provisional heat, is starting to pick his way up through the field as we look at the leader once again. Remember, this is a five-lap final. The preliminary heats were only three laps as we look at Smoke and Joe's driven by Wayne Michigan's Mark Tate in that yellow boat as the second place boat is the Vons driven by Mark Evans. Here is our Zodiac lap speed 152 mile an hour. He's not fooling around. He certainly isn't. He's getting an awful lot out of the boat as we have said several times during the program. Still your leader though is the purple and yellow Smoke and Joe's out of Wayne Michigan. Mark Tate doing a great job at driving. Look at how he kind of floats the boat out there a little bit. T-plus has now moved up to third place. Steve David doing a great job. Look at the water in front of him. He's kind of riding in a little bit of the wake action there, trying to find some smoother water, and I think that's the wake off of the lead boat. Mark Evans kind of blazing a trail for him. There's Steve Woomer, the owner of the Spoken Joes. As he looks on, he is happy. He's got to be very good, but he knows unlimited racing. He's not going to prejudge anything till that checkered flag flies. The Appian Renegade, driven by Tom Henley, has been penalized 
qualifies one extra lap for Hitty Nabui as we look at our leader. It's Mark Tate in the Smoke and Joes. If he can hold on with that checkered flag waiting, he'll go into the finale a few weeks from now by a mere 39 point lead over the Miss Budweiser. He passes up the Miss Cascade West Sportswear, Scotty Pierce, as the checkered flag is flying for Mark Tate. Let's see if he can bring it home. He had that engine problem earlier where they literally blew a turbine apart on the course, blew a hole right through the side and the bottom of the boat. But this time it looks like perfection. There are the waves from the crowd. The checkered flag is out. Mark Tate, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Steve Woomer, you do have reason to celebrate now. The checkered flag has flown. Mark Tate has won. This was a big win for that boat with the final race coming up in Hawaii. Second place goes to the Miss Bonds and third place goes to T plus which is quite a story coming up from the trailer position actually starting 15 seconds off the start line with the rest of the boats. So the T plus a great job at driving their Spico American Dream down in the water. They had engine problems. I don't know if it was salt or what it was. He said it just wouldn't go. And looking at our fiddle loom scoreboard here is the final order of finish for the Bay Fair Bill Muncy Cup here in San Diego. <laughs> Steve, this will go down as one of your wilder days, huh? Uh, boy, you can say that again. Uh, you know, I stay, I say I stay in this sport because of the highs and the lows. And, uh, you had them both today. Damn, boy, did we ever. The one heat, twisting the prop off and blowing the engine, the crew scrambling, then Budweiser having misfortune the next, the next heat. We don't like to win that way. We like to win when they're at their best, but... Uh, you know, you got to do it, and I guess it's getting all the way through the day. day and uh, what do I say about my crew? The Smoking Joe, they're the best. They scrambled and got this thing together, and we went out there and did it. And the camel-powered Smoking Joe come home a winner today. It is a fourth win for Smoking Joe's and Mark Tate this season, the best season ever for Steve Woomer. And another driving championship for Mark Tate, who wraps up the crown with his performance today. His Smoke and Joe's team leads by only 39 points over Miss Budweiser with one more event to go. Okay. Mark, have you ever had more ups and downs all in one day? Well, this whole weekend has been a real struggle for the Camel Power Smoking Joe boat. You know, we couldn't qualify real well. We were fighting the boat setup all weekend, and, uh, you know, we just seem to improve on it uh, every heat today and uh, throughout the whole weekend. And I just, my hands are off to my team, and, you know, there in the third heat when we threw the motor, blew the motor and threw a propeller and blew holes in the bottom of the boat, severed fuel lines. I mean, these guys, they just don't quit. And, uh, I can't be happier for them, and uh, they're the real heroes today. Well, it'll go down to the wire in Honolulu at the JN Automotive Hydro Fest. There's jubilation in the T-plus camp. They came in third from that trailer position. Down the pits, though, in the Miss Budweiser camp, it's rather a somber mood. They'll get it back together, and we hope to see them in Hawaii. For Jim